Yes, in the Ozarks, seven years in a row. Right now, kind of quiet across the area. It's just cloudy, a little bit of a light mist right now in Springfield, and I would guess we're probably finding that south down Highway 65 through Branson and Harrison, where there's some light fog in the air. Broadening out our view, we find there's not a lot going on off to the southwest, some strong and severe storms south of Dallas. Between there and here, though, we've got a warm front. And that warm front is, is really the gatekeeper to some very warm and humid conditions, which will get ushered into our area on Saturday. Right now, we're looking at lower dew points, very steamy air to the south and the south side of this warm front. And that warm front will make its way northeast, arriving in our area by tomorrow morning. So overnight tonight, what you see is what you're going to get. I think we're going to hold on to mostly cloudy to cloudy skies. I think that area of, of at least patchy fog will continue for a lot of the night along Highway 65, and we could find some very light patchy mist in that area as well. Uh, by 7 o'clock in the morning, that warm front moving into southwest Missouri and across northwest Arkansas, morning clouds will quickly thin out, and we'll find mostly sunny skies by late morning, and then the afternoon will be mostly sunny. And man, will it be warm. After a mild day today with a high of 66, I think we're looking at about 87 for a high in Springfield. Now, that warm front will continue to march on off to the northeast, and I think late tomorrow afternoon into the evening, there is going to be a very slight chance that maybe a shower or thunderstorm could pop in areas from maybe Versailles southeast down towards Salem. Then overnight, Saturday night, balmy night, uh, temperatures only dropping into the upper 60s, and I think we're going to see increasing clouds, and there's going to be some weather ingredients that could lead to at least some widely scattered shower and thunderstorm activity by morning on Sunday. And I think for Sunday, we'll find partly sunny skies, and as a weather disturbance makes its way across the area, at least widely scattered showers and thunderstorms will be a possibility during the day on Sunday. As far as temperatures, uh, temperatures right now, are, I think, are settling out around where the lows are going to be for tonight. Looks like about 59 in Springfield. Temperatures actually climbing towards sunrise, and boy, will they climb on Saturday. Highs will range from the low 80s over our eastern counties, or around 80 in West Plains, to upper 80s to near 90 once you get into Joplin and Stockton and Lake Ozark. And I would guess in this zone, El Dorado Springs, uh, northeast across Warsaw, that's going to be a spot where a lot of folks are going to see highs around 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Here in Springfield, we'll be close to the record high, but I think Joplin is the city that has the best shot at possibly hitting that record high of 90 degrees. Uh, looking ahead to tomorrow night, temperatures only dipping into the upper 60s. And then on Sunday, we're right back at it with the warmth and humidity. It looks like highs in the mid to upper 80s. Again, a few spots. And those areas up near West Central Missouri favored for this could hit 90, 87 for a high, I think, here in Springfield. So outdoor weather concerns this weekend? Yeah, there are some. If you are going to the lake and you're thinking about going swimming, keep in mind lake temperatures are still kind of cold in the low 60s right now. But the sunshine is going to be nice, and it will be warm and humid. Uh, skies uh, will be bright, and that could lead to a sunburn risk, especially on Saturday when we're going to have mostly sunny skies developing. Also, look for uh, choppy lake conditions given breezy winds late morning through the afternoon. Storm chances really will mainly be on Sunday, and we could see a few stronger storms that could bring not only some heavy rain and lightning, but maybe even some hail and strong wind gusts. So. Factor that into your outdoor plans. If you're going to Arts Fest here in Springfield, warm, breezy, and humid both days, you may want sunblack, uh, particularly on Saturday. And as far as rain chances, I think we're dry on Saturday, but there will be that risk for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. I think it'll be widely scattered, but that risk is going to be there. Looking ahead to next week, we really don't change the pattern a whole lot. It looks like with the front dropping in from the north on Monday, I think we keep a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms going. Highs in the mid-80s. Looks like that front may be able to move far enough south so that we get some drier moving in on Tuesday. So a drier day for most areas, high of 84. A chance for showers mainly over western Missouri and northwest Arkansas on Wednesday. And then I think rain chances will perk back up across the area Thursday into Friday. And even though temperatures are sliding down about 80 for a high by Friday, that's still above normal for this time of the year. Yeah, I'd say that's the first forecast we've seen yet this year that's all 80s across the board. Consistently, yeah. yeah, 80s. This will be the warmest, most summer-like weekend that we've had since September of this past fall. We're going to enjoy that. Breaking out yeah. the lake forecast, <laughs> Jamie. Thank you. And if he has you sold on Arts Fest, here's what you can expect in downtown Springfield.